it's my great pleasure to introduce a guy who was born in Ohio. As a matter of fact, this guy was born in Youngstown, Ohio. He left Youngstown, Ohio and joined the Marine Corps. He fought in World War II and uh, several battles over there with the Japanese. He decided that he wanted to go into radio. So uh, he, uh, you know, uh, uh, went to a radio school in Los Angeles. And then he started his career in, uh, at KXO in El Centro, moved to KFXM in San Bernardino, and later on in his radio career, he ended it at KCBQ in San Diego doing the all-night show for 16 years, from 1955 to 1968. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the great Jack Vincent, everybody. Hey! hey. Well, anyway, no, I, no, um, I was born at 8 o'clock in the evening. Is that stuff working? Yeah, it's working good. <laughs> At 8 o'clock in the evening on the 7th day of November, 1917. And that seems like a long time ago, and it really was. Yep. And uh, all of it culminates so far to this night, to the night that I'm 90 years old. Yeah. Well, anyway, there's a lot of things that happened during my life in the 90 years that, probably, that, that anybody that isn't 90 wouldn't know about. But I hope that every one of you get to be 90 years old someday. Okay. Okay, now listen, from, from the Marines, now we want to we jump right to your radio career. Right to your radio career. So you, from the, you got out of the Marines, and uh, then you decided to what, go uh, to work? I as did a, he heavy construction yeah. work. Right. Mm -hmm. I worked on pipeline construction, heavy construction, and I, I, I have the back to prove it. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. Uh, so, anyway, you, I mean, you did a lot of hard work before you decided I did a to, lot of hard work, to go into right. radio. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Now, now, go ahead. I, I got sorry. so tired of doing the hard work, I thought I would find something easy, so I decided to get into radio. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, that was a smart move on your part. Jack, uh, this is the man. I mean, this is the man, the all-night show, the man who looks like Clark Gable. Ladies come on, and come on. Yeah, he does, you know. That's your big deal, man. I mean, everybody says you look like Clark Gable, and it's true. Yeah, but I'm still alive. <laughs> <laughs> You know, they had a show called Caliente Calling, and oh, Jack used to report the horse races. Wow. Oh, So right. why don't you do something? How, how was the, the intro? Uh, this is Jack Vincent as we bounce right back on KCBQ. Coming up, it's Caliente Calling. So why don't you do something like that? Let's, let's hear it. Let's well, hear. This, is, this is Jack Vincent bouncing right back on KCBQ. Why don't you do something like Caliente Calling? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here's, a picture, here's a picture of Jack in, in the Marines. Now, uh, tell us a little something about this picture, Jack, if you will. Well, that picture, I was 26 years old when that was taken, and I was stationed in Jacksonville Naval Air Station, Jacksonville, Florida. Yeah. And um, I was on Liberty one night, and so I got the picture taken. Now, who, who, who is this in this picture here? Oh, that's myself, my wife, and... Um, Davy Crockett. Fess Parker. There you go. That's there you go. <laughs> tell us about this. Uh, some idiot decided to put a bunch, <laughs> put a bunch of pictures up in here. And, yeah. Uh, now, who's so, that idiot you're talking about? You. <laughs> no, no, well, that's one of them. <laughs> I propose that we uh, have a toast of this wonderful. Sounds like a good idea, John. Awesome Broso Añejo. So I'll pour yours first here, and I'll try not to shake like I did in the last Ooh, one of these. Okay, how's that, Jack? Oh, that's fine. Oh, that's good stuff, man. Jack, this is my favorite tequila. I can sure understand why. Starting right now, it's my favorite, too. <laughs> when I first came to KCBQ, it was owned by someone else beside, and, and, and it was a network station rather than a, a, a disc jockey type setup. But when Lee Bartell bought it, he made us all disc jockeys, and we went from there. Right. Radio stations come and go, but in the 1960s and 70s, there was one called KCBQ, a rock and roll station broadcasting out of Santee that was in a class by itself. Kind of put Santee on the map. And if you remember, you could tell you were in Santee by those great big beautiful towers that used to stand up there. Six big towers standing in a field connected to a 50,000 watt signal, so powerful that people miles away could hear rock and roll coming from their telephones. Some got people said they even could hear KCBQ on their teeth. <laughs> That's crazy. Jack Vincent was the all night DJ who worked out in Santee. Well, yeah. yeah. And I did that for 14 years. I mean, how I, I, I'm still trying to catch up on my sleep. <laughs> Daytimes and evenings, the studio was downtown, and imagine, crowds used to gather outside the window just to look up and see a real live disc jockey. 
Well, Shotgun Tom Kelly and his wife Linda thought it might be a good idea if we put in a plaque indicating where KCBQ used to be. This monument is for all of San Diego. So many people remember me, or they'd have their transistor radio right beside them in, the, in, in bed, you know, and that went, went to sleep by the music and woke up by the music, and uh, it was just, uh, I guess, a way of life. KCBQ San Diego, and Merry Christmas, Jack. Come on in, no. And a Merry Christmas to you, Scotty. I mean, Jeff. Christmas to you from KCBQ on this Christmas day, Saturday, the 25th of December, 1965. It's three minutes past one, music all night long. Jack Vincent here with the records until six this morning on this Christmas day morning. KCBQ! And the temperature on this Christmas morning out here at Sandy, about where it was yesterday, 40 degrees right now. If you were a young person and you were starting to get into this new uh, devil's music rock and roll, if you were lucky enough to have one of these radios and a radio station in your town that played that music, I mean, you were locked into that uh, every possible hour. And the guys who played that music, uh, honest, honestly, they were like gods to us. Uh, you, you were a star, Jack, no kidding. You guys all were stars. And I'll never forget, I shot the greatest game of pool right here you told me exactly what to do. You worked me like a puppet. <laughs> <laughs> and we actually won the game. Is Jack Vincent your real name? My real name. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of important Jacks in the world. Yep. Jack the Knife? I was born. Or was it Mac the Knife? I was. The reason I was called Jack, I was born while my dad was changing a tire. Oh. Ah. Jack Vincent here saying so long, be good, drive carefully, have a pleasant day today, and remember, big smile for everybody costs you nothing. So long, you. <laughs> good day! <laughs> or or, 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 or to, add, to add this to it, the fleecy clouds may kiss the sky, the sun may kiss the butterfly, the sparkling dew may kiss the grass, and you, my friends, farewell. <laughs> I could have told you, Vincent, this world was never meant for one as beautiful as you. Starry, starry night, and how you tried to set them free, they would not listen, they're not listening still, perhaps they never